nothing says fall better than squash. And a really good meal on the days when it gets really cold is a beautiful butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash. It's got that rich, beautiful texture and that wonderful, slightly nutty flavor. And the best part about squash, it holds up beautifully to spice. And it is a perfect combination with curry. So today, I am going to show you how to make a curried butternut squash soup with coconut milk and a citrus sour cream to go with it. So, without any further ado, let's cook! Now to make butternut squash soup, you're going to need a few ingredients. Take one butternut squash, trim the edges off, and cut the squash right down the center to give you two identical halves. Discard the seeds and the pulp that's in the center of the squash. Peel the squash and cut it into one inch cubes. You need two cups for this recipe. Next, we'll work on the carrots. Trim the ends off and do a rough one inch cut. The same goes for the celery. Roughly chop into one inch pieces. Dice one large onion to give you approximately one cup and roughly chop and smash four flakes of garlic. And that's what you will need to get started with the soup. In a stock pot, heat oil and add in one tablespoon of cumin and one tablespoon of fennel seeds, allow to crackle. Add the garlic, give it a good stir, and then start with your flavor enhancers, which are coriander powder, turmeric powder, paprika, and cumin powder. Give it a good stir and make sure the flame is at medium heat at this point, as it is very easy to burn these powders. Add your vegetables and your squash, and give it a good stir. Season with a little bit of kosher salt, and add two liters of chicken stock or a vegetable stock to cover the vegetables. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, cover, and allow to cook till the vegetables are tender. It's fun to be creative when you're serving. And I like best to use fruits and vegetables as my containers. And you know the best part? You don't have to wash them, just chuck it away. But here I have this amazing turban squash. You can get them at the grocery stores, they're really easy to get. And I love it because of this beautiful shape. It's got this nice little dome that actually comes like this. And this would be the best receptacle to serve your soup. You see? Awesome. How did I get it this way? Very simple. Just grab a knife and just have at it right around over here. While the vegetables are simmering away, this is the perfect time to work on your squash bowl. Just hack your knife in between the crevice from the top and the base of the squash. You'll see the top comes out quite easily. Scoop out the seeds and the pulp on the inside and use a spoon to hollow out the base of the squash to give you more room. Trim the top and scoop out the seeds of the lid as well. 45 minutes later, the vegetables are tender. It's time to take it for a spin in the blender. To ensure a perfectly smooth soup, you should pass it through the strainer, using a round bottom spoon to push the pulp through. That way you get a wonderful, smooth, creamy soup that does not have the consistency of baby food. Now add one 13.5 ounce can of coconut milk and give it a stir. At this point you want to make sure you do not boil the mixture as you could split the coconut milk. Season and you're almost ready to go. I'm going to make a beautiful citrus sour cream that will work as a garnish on the soup. So here I'm going to take just a little bit of sour cream. I'm going to use half a lime, juice it, whip it up, mix well, mm, delicious. 
delicious slightly tart just what I want it's going to be that smooth creamy finish that I'm looking for in the soup I'm gonna need something really green and fresh as a garnish what I have here beautiful onion chives that I got from my garden they've got this wonderful oniony flavor that'll go perfectly with the soup I'm gonna give it a very very fine job Now it's time to put the soup together. Mmm, can't wait, I'm hungry. Sure you must be too. So I take my wonderful bowl, which I carved out of a turban squash, and I take my soup and gently ladle it. There you go. Just gonna add a little touch of sour cream. And there you have it, a delicious and creamy butternut squash soup with a dollop of citrus sour cream and a sprinkling of fresh onion chives. There's only one thing to say at this point right now, and that is, you know the magic word, happy eating!